things i literally had no idea i had to struggle so much hi welcome to my channel my name is jane and i am a chemical engineering phd candidate here in the united states of america and this is my channel where i share content concerning my phd journey lifestyle and every now and then i try to add in some motivation and in my previous video i got a couple of my friends who are phd um, students in different universities here in the united states to advise new phd students this is because um, most times people come into the phd program thinking it's all it's all about being smart so i just have to take classes um, pass my exams and do research and i'll be fine but when you come into the phd program especially here in the u.s a lot of things get thrown at you and most times people get depressed people start having suicidal thoughts a lot of people consider dropping out a lot of people will be like maybe i should just get a master's and leave it's always a whole lot especially the first year and the first second year of your phd program so i know what i went through when i was there so i said to make this video to help people to help you so that you wouldn't have to struggle as much as i did as much as other people did um this is the part two of this video the part one was posted um, a few days ago so please um, make sure to check it out after watching this video also go through the comments you will see a lot of people talking about the things that um they learned from the video and um how they wish they knew these things before um before um i mean when they were still in the beginning part of your phd so because um no advice is too much there's nothing like too much advice as long as you're going to get as much as you can get and to make your um, PhD or even your master's program um, easier, I will feel fulfilled. And the interesting thing I found about um, the first video that I posted, that's the part one. Someone told me that um, the advice that was given there is not only, shouldn't only be for new PhDs, that even the current PhDs, like the ones in their second, third, fourth year, still need some of those advice. So even if you're not in your first year or second year, you're not just um, new, make sure to check that video. It's, it, it's, it's really packed. I hope you enjoyed this video. So just sit back and enjoy the advice. And as usual, I'll see you at the end of the video. A couple of quick things I'd like to say about grad school. Um, first, <clears throat> So resuming in grad school, you know, find friends. First year in grad school is very sort of difficult and challenging. So uh, it usually pays to have allies and close friends that you can work through the challenges with. Another thing I would suggest is you should be fine with whatever outcome as long as you give your best. Uh, you give your best to every challenge that you face. Be fine with the outcome. And the thing I would, I would say is you should pick up your speak things you do outside of research, outside of school work that uh, keep you occupied and keep you keep you going and keep you sane. I have just uh, four points to, to state. So the first is going to be that uh, the start might be so rocky and rough, you know, there might be a lot of things that you need to learn. The learning curve might be uh, a long one, but don't be angry with yourself. Just uh, take time to go through the process enjoy the learning phase and uh and you'll be fine uh, you just uh it's, it's always like that at the beginning it's as though you don't really know a lot but uh you'll be fine uh in the long run then the second thing i also uh want to state is that you know uh as you go through the journey it's good to have a self-evaluation uh method for yourself so it, what, what you can do is that you can discuss with your advisor uh, you can have like a milestone for each semester or each year such that you be able to track your progress with this milestone so you know if you are actually doing very well or you need to do better so it's good to actually do self-evaluation and the third thing i would also like to uh, point out is the fact that you need people in this journey you know it can be really rough sometimes you know it can take a toll on your emotions it can take a toll on you know on some major or important part of your life so you need people uh, to work with you uh, in this journey uh, such that they can uh, console you as a case may be you know when things are not working in the lab or when your uh, simulation is not actually running well then uh, i also want to say you should also 
uh, seek opportunity for collaboration with people. You see, this journey is not about competition. You, know, you want to collaborate with a lot of people. So you should embrace collaboration instead of competition. That way you can actually get a lot of things done. Uh, and then the last one would be that uh, please pay attention to professional development opportunities. So when opportunity for professional development come, I think you should embrace it. Don't just limit yourself to uh, the research work and then the coursework and your life will just around, revolve around the research and the coursework for the five years. So that's not good. Try to attend conferences, seminars, workshops, summer school, you know, and uh, meet people, network with people. And learn something that are different that will be useful for uh, your career so i wish you all the best thank you i have a brief advice for incoming graduate students be it a uh, master's or phd um, i know some of you all have plans to apply to schools i know some of you have admissions already now the next big thing is to uh, research about where you're going research about the culture research about the food um, do they have varieties of food Research about the weather. Do you like cold? Um, somebody like me wouldn't want to go to Alaska because I don't like cold. Is it safe? Is this place safe? How safe is it? Um, is it going to help you uh, study? Do you like urban or rural areas? Do you like to live by the ocean? There are numerous questions you can ask yourself and you can get answers to, which is going to help your smooth transition into this place you're going. And uh, I would advise you to start today to begin to ask yourself these questions and try to get answers from friends, from people who have gone to these places or people who know somebody who have and uh, make sure you get these answers to be able to get well prepared for the journey ahead. Thank you. So one of the advice I would like to give to incoming grad students is that you will have to be self-motivated. I mean, during the course of your study, you will see that you will feel more than you succeed in terms of your research. And um, if you're a teaching assistant, you also have to teach your students and then deal with your personal coursework. So you'll be subjected to a whole lot of pressure that if you're not capable of talking to yourself when you are down, you're going to find it very difficult to cope with your PhD studies. So I would suggest you find ways to you know, stay motivated and the best form of motivation is the one that you give to yourself. Welcome to Glasgow. So the first thing you should do when you get here is try to get settled, settle yourself, get somewhere to stay, remove all that. Then after that, once you resume to school, the first two weeks might seem overwhelming. You might feel like, oh, I don't know this. Don't worry, you're gonna catch up. You were built to be able to catch up. Read, learn, be open to learning new things. With time, you see you, you're learning new things and you're catching up and what's so, what seems so difficult isn't that difficult. Try to connect to people that can make you settle down. And just enjoy. I say graduate school is all about working hard, extremely hard, and enjoying yourself. Try to relax, have fun, work hard, work hard, work hard, have, enjoy. Have time for yourself. Don't overwork yourself. Congratulations again. You make mistakes and be okay with making mistakes. There are things that you come to realize that, you know, maybe a better way of doing or an easier way of doing or a cheaper way of doing. But you won't know at first. So some of the things you learn by experience and by making mistakes. So keep an open mind. Don't, you, you can never be too prepared over prepared. Keep an open mind. Be flexible. Just be open to, to like, learning and, you know, uh, whatever curve it takes you through so um don't be too hard on yourself don't be too hard on yourself and um it's that that should also apply to like adapting to the new culture i don't don't expect that you're going to like adapt or you're going to just you know blend in overnight it takes a while and there might be some um nostalgic moments missing home and all that but you will eventually adjust that's the good thing so give yourself the grace and the space to um the allowance to you know gradually gradually um adjust to move it like to to the us and it's not easy like it's a big it's a life-changing move like coming all the way from your country so don't it's not going to be automatic so don't be hard on yourself allow yourself time to 
adjust and just take it one day at a time that said congratulations and i wish you a good stay here hi prospective and new grad student as you prepare to start grad school remember that your first year will be busy and it's important to have a work-life balance and that is why i would like to talk about one of those things that i struggled with in my first year which is reaching out to people and making friends, without which one can easily fall into depression, especially in the dead of winter. For instance, you're going to struggle with finding domestic students or your colleagues who share a similar interest with you, but your curiosity and enthusiasm would help. Socialize with your colleagues when you have the time. Your mental health is very important, and I wish you all the best. First, I would say, be confident in yourself. United States is a place where you find people from all around the world so it will do you good um, to be able to interact with people freely and share your own story, share your culture with others. Uh, secondly, I would like to speak about the um, social aspect of living in America. Um, you may have come from a place where the culture is different, uh, where the food is different and how people perceive things are different as well. So um, it would be normal to experience a cultural shock, which is absolutely fine. Uh, but to uh, come through this uh, successfully, I would advise you be open minded. Uh, that means you should be ready to try new things, you should be um, asking questions and you should also listen because that is very important. I feel these are little things that uh, would help um, you settle in fast and um, it would also improve your quality of life as a graduate student. Wow, <laughs> that was a lot. That was a lot. You know what? I sit back and listen to all the advice they gave and I'm like, why didn't people tell me this? No one told me about these things. I literally had no idea. I had to struggle so much. I had to struggle so, so much. No one told me these things, but it's fine. I survived it, so it's fine. And I'm so happy that you get the opportunity to know about these things and it also gets to help you. And like I said before, make sure to check out the part one of this video. I'm not sure I may or may not make a part three, but let's see. I don't think so, but probably <laughs> I might make a part three of this video. But for now, I hope you enjoyed um, um, the things they said. And I really do hope it will help you and it will make... Um, your PhD journey less stressful and also I just wish you all the best and once again thank you so much for watching my video if you've not subscribed up to this point please I beg you support me help me make more of those videos by clicking the subscribe button the red subscribe button click to subscribe if you subscribe before please do not subscribe again because i noticed that a lot of people subscribe and then come back to subscribe again at the end of the day you are unsubscribing and that's not helping me so thank you so much guys um for the support i love you guys and have a wonderful day or night like i always say or afternoon just enjoy yourself <laughs> bye